All right, here's my latest uh, creation. I call this the lid motor top charger. And um, it's kind of a culmination of everything I've learned so far. And that's a, a top that's spinning up. You can't even see it in the camera because I don't have any markings on it. And it's being driven by a bifiler coil and a simple uh, one transistor, 2N222 transistor circuit. And it's not a Bedini circuit. It's a, a combination of a lot of things I've learned. And uh, like I say, I call this the um, lid motor top charger. And it is a bifiler coil that is joined like a jewel thief coil. And uh, it's not like a Bedini. It's different. And then um, instead of having uh, different kinds of windings, it's all... 30 gauge and there's 400, 845 turns on each coil of that bifiler and it is a, an, an iron core. It's nails uh, epoxied inside that coil. And then I've got a diode like a 1N4007 uh, just like a Bedini to pick up the back EMF spike. And then these other diodes here which are the eyes, the white LEDs, which are going back into the battery too. So it all worked out quite a kind of neat, but it's a very simple circuit. It's just a combination of things that I've learned. And uh, it uh, it runs on anywhere from about four or five volts on up to 12. I've got a couple of nine volts on it right now. Um, this one is the drive. This is the uh, charging battery. And what I wanted was something that didn't make any noise. And that thing doesn't make any noise at all. It's totally quiet. Uh, the ball was great, but the ball was very, very, very noisy. And um, until I get that problem solved, I went to this. Now that's a neodymium magnet attracting another neodymium. This is almost completely levitated off that glass plate right there. And this is what it looks like. There's a, a ball, a hematite. This is the, the sizzler magnets, and that's a hematite ball magnet with the north and south facing out. A little neomagnet attracting another neomagnet, which partially levitates the top. And uh, when I first did this, I was using a Bedini circuit on this, and then I, I fiddled around with it and fiddled around with it and uh, made my own circuit. But that's the latest thing I'm working on right now. That's the, uh, the lid motor top charger. And I've uh, been testing on it. It works pretty darn good.